Hi everyone. Been going this morning. Uh, all the tanks, all three tanks, all drained down. I'm happy at all. So it's called life. You gotta carry on. So I try to survive a few of them. So there's a lot, a lot of fish dead here. A lot of fish. So uh, it's gonna be a bit disturbing if people, people are to see don't look now, like. Let's uh, show you a few fish. Well, a lot, of, a lot of fish that I've lost. Well, because of a black pike. If I go through it here and show what's happened, just no good really. Not happy at all, but it's life. We carry on and just keep going. That's all we can do. So it's a bit disturbing what people will see. There's a lot of dead fish here. As you can see now, it's one of the small tanks. So there's small fish in. There's probably 70 odd fish, 80 fish in this one. So we've got a couple of survivors, the smallest ones. There's two survivors there, two small ones. The, it's probably one about five or six inches I've seen earlier on. So I'm trying my best to try to turn them around. I've plenty of oxygen in there today. So obviously there's only one oxygen now, I just took it out now because they've been going for a good few hours trying to get them survived, but nothing's happening. So they were drained right down to the bottom. And there's my other lock gun. We've got one breathing, just about breathing in there. And all the rest of them dead. So I had to get this water out of another tank quick this morning. Buckets, pumps, everything, trying to get some water back in here. All drained down, not good at all. This is the one that's got me the most. There's no fish breathing at all. I've had loads of oxygen here this morning. This is the one left in here, but it's no good now. It's an oxygen in each corner. All in there, so I can chuck the water in quick as I could. Trying to save them, but nothing happened. So there we are, all dead. Not one breathing in this tank. There's obviously three breathing in the other tank, small ones. About four inches must have uh, stayed under, uh, underneath a couple more fish and survive like. I said I checked them at two o'clock in the morning. Come back out half past eight this morning checking them. Too late. Oh, because there's uh, a black pipe on me bottom drain. The rubber boot. Obviously this room gets hot. It expands. It's come off. I'll go for you. Show you what mistake I made. Big mistake. We all learn. We're doing it again. So, uh, hard pipe from now on. Right, so this is the culprit here. This has come off here. Drained all the system down. So and obviously this here must be expanding with the heat and getting cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. The uh, hot temperature in this greenhouse. So it's come off there. Using plastic, I can't even press the pipe. So it's mad because it's obviously cold now. Let's say with the heat yesterday expanding, it's just blown off. Blown off there and come off. So obviously the other ones, I've done the same on them. And there, but I put tape on them. But I didn't put no tape on this one. So I made tape on them. Well there, but I'm going to start using grey pipe from now on. Not using black pipe no more. It's not worth it. Done my head right in. So it happens, doesn't it? Let's go to life. And carry on. Not happy at all, but we'll carry on. Done my head in. What can we do? I'm going to upgrade this system anyway. So I've got some filters outside. I'm gonna put the drum on this on here. There, all dead, all gone. Not happy at all. So I can't get any more survivors. So now I've got four survivors in here. That's it. They must be just in, in between the other fish. And survived out. That's it. All I can say. These are definitely gone. They're the big babies. Let me time. So it took over two years, well, uh, nearly two years, two years this year. So I think it was July I got these. Two years coming up. So obviously, all that time and effort, all gone on these. So what's got to do, just crack on and get one of the fish. That's all I can do. I'm not happy, but it's life. I'm gutted. So let's get all these out and dispose of them. So the survivors here putting that green tank what I've done as well. So get them over in that green tank. I'm just going to shut this down for a few weeks till I get the system up and running. Not happy at all, but there we go. There's the culprit. Not happy. What can you do? I can't believe it's come off. So obviously I checked this at 2 o'clock in the morning. Before I went to bed last night. Come up this morning. And... It was bone dry in here, so obviously it must have happened as soon as I've gone to bed. It must have done. Anyway, it's disposable, get rid. And there they are, all scooped out, all dead.
So we've got no survivors at all there. Same, well, sorry, there's four survivors. Small ones in the tank were saved. Same, it's a really nice fish, um, proper gutted. Same there. Uh, I got these a couple of years ago. Not July time before, so it's probably 21 months in Dina 4. 20 months, 21 months. So I got up to 44, 46 cm. That one is there. So the video doesn't show the size. Oh, there's no justice in it now, they're dead now, aren't they? They've gone. All gone. It's got potential sanky there. Beautiful fish that would have been. It was going to my pond this year, so a couple more were. It's nice showers. Put the kahakis there. Cheerios. A lot. And it's serious. All gone. All dead. All dead, no more. What can I do? So I do feel like giving up, but the missus said don't because I've got that many fish at the minute. I've got more fish everywhere. So these were the ones that uh, start with the fry. Built them all up. Looks like poxy black pipe there. All that thing there. A bit of tape round, I think they'll blow out like the rest. But so it's the proper plastic boot on it that you're supposed to put on. Pressure. Obviously put that on it, but. That was nice and tight, that was really tight. Obviously it wasn't tight enough. So it's obviously this heat contracting up and down. It must be. So it does get out of here. So it's only 22 now because the door's been open all morning. And the water temperature is 17.6 in the filter. So this is getting hot and cold, hot and cold. There's the four survivors. Might be under the fish. When he was under the fish in here, now there's nothing. We'll carry on. I'm peed off light, but there's nothing I can do. As you can see, everything everywhere this morning, just chucked it all around everywhere. Pipes everywhere, all pipes out, everything. Me and the missus are running around like flies. Obviously, this pipe out of here. Chucked all this pond apart, took the screen off of what I did the other day, pinched all the water out of here. Obviously, it's full now. I'm gonna put them four fish in here. I'll probably dip on some at first, get some salt on them, bath them, make sure they're alright, and chuck them in here. Gutted. Proper gutted. There are the four fish that survived. So I've just done a good uh, salt bath as well. So, uh, three ounces to four and a half litres a gallon of water like. They were turned on the side. I thought best going a salt bath because obviously they've been dried up. I've got a couple of sores on the side. It's a bit of redness there. The same as We've gone for the salt bath. We got through it, good 10 minutes. I'm gonna leave me in here for another half hour. I'm gonna climatize a bit so there's more stress and put me in a screen tank with the other ones. So I'm gonna close that other tank down. The jet wash it all out. I'm gonna put a new filter on, I think, so there's no point in setting it back up again until it's all sorted. Let them set up for 10 minutes and put them in. I'm going to jet with all this down here now. Get all the crap out. Might just start fresh again. Got all this media. I have to get uh, all climatized to new bacteria. Beneficial bacteria. I'm going to put some more fish in it again. It's um, not really fussed at the minute. Still a bit beat off, but what can you do? Just topping this one up now. Just cleaning the tank out now. There's a bit of water in it, obviously, so I'm just showing you what happened last night. Overnight, that's what's happened. The pressure's just pushed it off. Not a pressure of the water, as you can see now. That's the culprit. Obviously, it must have just expanded. It's gone cold overnight. So, had some heat yesterday, it was like 36 degrees in here yesterday. So, obviously, the pipe goes hot and cold, hot and cold, and it just works itself loose. So, it has been running for the other system now. It's about five months, five, six months the system's been going, so it's had no problem before, like. But I just wish to check the joints, and that's what's happened. And there's your problem. Not good at all. And four fish in there now, I find now. And it's settled in. No, it's settled in the corner over there. Just been watching them a couple of minutes. Obviously, when you record them, you can't see them. Now yeah, settle down in there. Under the shower. There's one. There's two. There's a bigger one somewhere. The little one's coming back in. Now settled in. Give it a salt bath. 
Got any wounds or anything they've got on them? Any sores? You'll be alright. Get them sorted. That's what I woke up to this morning. All dried out. So I've just been jet washing them now. Jet washing them all through. So then uh, I'm going to clean all the system all down. So obviously got four fish left in that tank what I put in there. So not worth putting back in here. So I'm going to take everything apart. Take a little system out here. If it makes sense, I might as well put a new system in. So I was going to pack it up this morning. We really had enough. But this is time to carry on. So it's been dreaming what I was going to do. Get some fry, grow them on. But what happens, doesn't it? Look at this thing here. Once you're coming off, obviously that was a bit closer, but I don't want to look. Nah. Wasn't there. Anyway, right, so this morning, been around after that as well this afternoon, should I say. Been checking all my joints. All the joints everywhere on the, the other systems, make sure they're all right. Just uh, cut on my brain lights and best get it done. So, advise everyone, just with the seat and everything, to go around, check all your joints and that. And crack on jet wash anything. Uh, that's my big disaster of the day. That's not a good one. So I lost a lot of fish. So I've uh, been going around for two years now. Near enough, around 21 months, 20, 21 months, somewhere there. So I've come up in July, two years. So I've been growing them on from 10 mil. It's only really tiny, tiny fish. So I uh, thought I'd take the challenge, do it myself and see how big I can get them. I got them to 46 cm and that was it. That's the biggest I got them. So I've got about another 70 fish left out of them. And a lot of the same, a good 400 fish here. I've got to them. Uh, passed away today. Wasn't good at all, so it's my own fault. So I should uh, check joints and that all the time, but as I do, so this video's not for sympathy. But saying uh, it's just a uh, well, having to check the joints and stuff now and again. Obviously, the heat's contracting it hot and cold, hot and cold, and that's what happens. Obviously, because this joint down here, this one obviously popped off, it's in a good thing, a bit crap. And so, obviously, heated up to solid that pipe as well, but. I was getting hot and cold, this is just popped off for the night. If that brick was a bit closer, maybe it wouldn't have happened. I don't know. What can I do? Nothing. So then, uh, I'm peed off. But we've got to carry on. I'm not happy at all. That's all I can do. Just, I was going to quit. I was finishing. But uh, the missus won't let me. So I spent that much time and money and all sorts into it all. Last couple of years. I've mean, fished over 30 years of my fight. Always had ponds and that, but saying through lockdown. Just do what we dream, get my dream done. Start building a few ponds and growing some fish in that on, which I did enjoy doing. But then I was going to pack it in, but Mrs. told me not to. She's mad to her, Mrs. telling me that, like, but she's a good woman. I'm happy for her. Well, she's happy for me, she said, to carry on. So I will carry on. It's only be a few weeks' time before I get back to it. But so I've got plenty of fish to get on with. So I've got to keep on with it, really. So I've got to keep up the maintenance and that on them and get it all done. Saying, so, uh, if I was everyone, just just check your joints. Just keep keep checking them. Just a mistake I'd done. Everyone else making it. And that's all it is, really. So I lost a lot of fish, as you've seen. All right. Saying so, uh, it's uh, not a nice one to see. Saying so, so there again. Hopefully, see you on the next one.